good afternoon children how are you all are you fine hope you all good welcome to b reading now today in the pre uh, in the previous lesson you came to know about a great player at the same time you also came to know the new game pole vault so dear children everybody plays games but some players become great some players remain unknown why this happens why do some people some players become great why do we remember for a long time the great players for these we have many reasons so dear children do you like just any player or great player when we come when you get a this question whom do you like a great player or a simple player definitely your answer will be a great player so that when you like a great player simply there are many reasons so today our topic is or b reading is the poem we have great poem the poem is the name the ta, name of the name of the poem is what is a player so this is the poem now let us discuss the poem the what are the objectives of this poem we have certain when we read uh, some object uh, some poem any poem there are some objectives what are the objectives of this poem the main objectives of this poem are dear children you will be after completing this poem you will be able to understand dear children once again the objectives of the poem are you will be able to understand the thought and imagination of the writer the second objective is to develop your taste for poetry reading and writing the third is you will enjoy the rhyme and rhythm of the poem the fourth one is to develop the aesthetic sense and the other is you will be able to read the poem with a correct rhyme and rhythm the other one is you will be able to understand who the true player is the finally you will capture the central idea of the poem so these are the main objectives of the poem now now let us dear children now let us see what is the what the poem is now shall we go through the poem now let us see i am going to read the poem now once all of you you can look at your textbook a player is one who doesn't give up at the sight of the defeat but learns from their mistakes and puts them beneath a player is one who doesn't give up at a sound of the buzzer always giving what they have from one side of the court to the other a player is one who doesn't whine about their play time because a player knows it's it's a, an unacceptable crime a player is one who practices game speed always keeping in mind that their shots are not guaranteed this is the first stanza now let us see that what the second stanza is a player is one who doesn't settle for anything less even knowing that they are not the best they will be the ones you see outside practicing day or night rain or shine they are the ones running on hot hot ankles admitting they are fine a player is one who has a strong sensible mind never pondering about uh, failing only contemplating prevailing a player is one who doesn't chicken out who wants to be in the game when everything counts now that is a true player dear children this is about the this is the actual poem of poem of the what is a player 
now let us see that dear children when we see this there are some unfamiliar words you may not know some of the words at the same time some of the meanings of these uh, words so now let us see that some vocabulary in this vocabulary a few vocabulary you can see that number 1 is give up dear children it is a give up means it is a phrasal verb the meaning of give up is leave second one is defeat it is a verb the meaning is to win victory over in a contest beneath at a lower level buzzer it's a noun an electrical device that makes a buzzing sound is used for signaling whine it is a verb a long high pitched complaining cry or sound next one is pondering it is also a verb thinking about something carefully before making a decision contemplating verb look thoughtfully for a long time at prevailing its meaning is win chicken out dear children it is also phrasal verb the meaning is to decide not to do something because of fear so these are the some of the vocabulary uh, which we come across in this poem these are the meanings of this one now dear children let us see that what the poet has wanted to say what the poet has wanted to advise you know in this poem now now the theme if you see that theme the poet has wanted us to be how a true prayer is one who never gives up in the event of a defeat so this is the uh, if you see that a player is one who doesn't give up at the sight of defeat this meaning is a true player is one who never gives up in the event of a defeat so success and failure are common in games and sports dear children when the games are played it is naturally one games win the others lose so one team only one side one side only they will get the success so success and failure are common so dear children it is very common the success and failure to the play, player in the games are very very common so whenever you play any game that you play any sport you play it's a success either you get a success or failure whatever one only we will get so these are the success and failure are a, a common in the games and sports and a, a show true spirit of a game so we should not worry about the success and failure either whatever we get either we get a success or failure let us not worry about the uh, success and failure but we should also show that show we should show the spirit of a game so a, a, every player any player either that may be a kabaddi or kho kho or cricket or hockey or chess or any game any sport so that in that game we must a player must show the a spirit of a game so unless we do not show the spirit of a game that is the meaningless we do not treat it as a, a great uh, a player uh, also good player so that if you wanted to be good player if you want to be true player there we should show that a player must show a true player must show the true spirit of a game so this is the one thing that means there should not be any kind of partiality game sportive friendly all these should be uh, shown in the uh, game and also the poet also suggests us to be uh, we also a player naturally dear children do you think that any player doesn't commit any mistake definitely a player definitely certainly does a mistake in a game so that what then what shall we do that whenever we do, whenever the player does mistake we should learn from the mistakes and correct himself or herself herself so whoever the commits a mistake in the game or sports so a player must show must correct their mistakes next time so other than if we do not uh, if the player does not correct his or her mistakes it is a meaningless so a true player must learn from the mistake from every mistake whenever uh, commits a mistake so from the mistake we should learn some good in from the mistakes so this is a uh, uh, the poet advises us to be learn from the mistakes 
and also dear children we should not give up at the sound of the buzzer so this is the uh, this is a very very important thing we should not give up at the sound of the buzzer and also dear children uh, you see that your friends or whoever playing game whenever you watch the game in the tvs or or uh, what is uh, uh, real games so we see that there are complaining this is the uh, uh, mostly we see this complaints there are some disputes uh, between the two teams between the two persons there we see that uh, naturally there are some arguments also happen so a true player must not complain about their play time when the players are playing when the players are playing in the game definitely we should avoid the complaining nature dear dear children you see that you also play you also play when you play suppose if the umpire or judge are given decision something so that you start arguing with your friends you start arguing with the judge you start with uh, arguing with the uh, umpire so this must not be a complaint must not be in the play time suppose if you wanted to complain anything later you can complain you can uh, uh, take into take it into the uh, judge uh, like after completing the uh, play time but complaining during the play time uh, is not a uh, good so that we must uh, avoid the complaining during the play time so this is uh, uh, this is treated you know that how uh, uh, how dangerous it is complaining nature it is uh, an unacceptable crime when we complained in the during the play time it is a uh, uh, an unacceptable crime this is like a crime this is crime it is not only just crime it is a who no uh, nobody accept this one so an accept unacceptable crime so dear children this is also one of the true quality of the uh, true uh, great quality of the true player and also a player should ready to play at any time dear children you also see your friends or players some players when the your pts are called called you that you are not ready that uh, you say that some cock and bull stories sir i am not ready i have some stomach ache i am getting pain i have so and so work so that uh, like uh, uh, those, those kind of reasons those kind of responses that uh, your pts are may get so you may uh, uh, talk to your uh, talk to them so dear children should be a player should be ready to play at any time any any time whatever the circumstances so that some lame excuses that we take into the our pt sir suppose when your pt sir called you sir today it's a raining uh, today we have function today uh, today i am not feeling well these kind of uh, uh, reasons that uh, we take into the judge but this is that a true player should play at any whatever the circumstances how the difficult the circumstances we, uh, may face face but we should ready to play at any time under any circumstances while you are playing there may be the situation may be different there may may not be cooperation there may not be encouragement there may be some discouragement so whatever the situation however the circumstances that a true player must ready to play at any time so this is the one of the qualities of the uh, qualities of the true player so dear children you know that uh, you know the games but the knowing the game time is important every game has certain game speed game speed means what is according to the game speed the player should play that means suppose if you take uh, kabaddi it has a limited time if you take the chess it is also has a uh, uh, time uh, game speed but what uh, any game that it has a certain game speed so knowing the game speed is not only important but also a player also a true player also should practice according to that according to the game speed if we knowing the game speed and practicing lazily practicing unknowingly this is a uh, meaningless so the dear children a true player should uh, uh, play according to the game speed so this is a uh, intelligent uh, Uh, idea of the player so uh, it is also a very great qualities of the a very great quality of the true player and also dear children a true player should keep in mind that shots are not guaranteed dear children you see that sometimes uh, uh, a player becomes uh, uh, his or particular his or herself become upper hand sometimes sometimes may not be when we get a upper hand so that we should remember that we should keep in our, keep in our mind that our shots are not guaranteed suppose this time our 
uh, our time may be upper hand but sometimes we will not be the same our upper hand will not continue so so that we should keep in mind our shots are not uh, guaranteed so this is uh, about the uh, first stanza dear children dear children at the same time you see that second stanza so a player a player who doesn't uh, uh, a player is one who doesn't settle for anything less this is a very very essential you see that dear children so the player is not the best play the best play the best dear children when you start to playing game when the players start uh, playing games they are not good they are not perfect they are not masters of the game but but a player must uh, try his best his or her best so whatever is whatever his or her ability but we should try for endeavor for the best playing we should always try for the best there should not be any kind of negligence so our complete 100% we should try for uh, playing the best so this is the one quality and uh, also and even knowing that they are not the best and they will be the one who see outside practicing and also the poetess suggests us to be a true player should show ability to win the game all efforts a play all efforts of player to be win the game only this this must be the ultimate aim of the uh, player so i must not compromise and settle for anything less than victory so that you don't we should not expect a player should uh, should not expect anything other than victory anything other than less than victory only the ultimate aim final aim of the player must be only victory we should not compromise for the for the less things other than the victory and also dear children uh, we a uh, true player also must practice day or night every uh, must practice day or night that means that means what is whatever you are when when you are when the true player is playing for something either at me that may be night or day he should practice always you know that practice makes man perfect unless the player practice he he does not become he, he or she does not become perfect so that the practice makes us man perfect as it is so that we a uh, player must practice day or night so we should not show that any lame excuse for the day or the night so that this is the one thing we should remember and dear children uh, you see that there are many injuries happens while uh, playing there are some uh, major injuries also happens sometimes the players also die for the unknown reasons so that injuries are common any game that you play that badly sometimes we injure so that what what shall, what shall we do that injures when we get when we when the player injures shall we leave the game shall we not uh, uh, play entire our life no this is not the correct we should take injuries are lightly injuries lightly so never worry about injuries injuries are common so don't take them as serious but after uh, when we get when we injure and the player injures definitely he recovers it takes some time so that you take in a positive way take injuries as a lightly dear children and also the apart from this another important quality of the true player is a uh, strong and uh, sensible a player must be strong dear children you also play when you are playing your parents your mother your father always uh, uh, tell you to drink milk take food good food protein food like everything because why a player must be strong a player should become very strong so that you should be every player any game whatever the game is the strong is uh, important the strong means we should be energetic if you do not have energy if the player doesn't have energy he does not he or she does not play well it becomes very weak so that when we are weak when the player is weak definitely he loses game so that a very strong is also being strong is also very important the other than being strong the strong being strong is not only important but also sensible is also very very important sensible the wise decisions to be taken wise decision wise play wise playing game wisely we should play 
simply bluntly if we play no it is it will not be useful then we will uh, our our aim will not be fulfilled so that sensible decision sensibly we should uh, uh, play the game and also dear children the most of you players uh, think about their past here the poet suggests us to be don't think about the failures of the past so when the game is over the previously happened games some players keep on going thinking but we should not think about the failures and the failures of the past so that what shall we do that nothing we don't go thinking about the past previous games failure games we know we do not get anything simply the time is we never that uh, we become a very uh, we lose our confidence so that don't think about the poet suggests us to be don't think about the past or past failures so think focus on the present game whatever the present game is playing you think about this one think about the present game focus on the present game how to play suppose the failure suppose in the previous game if you are fa failure so that what to do in the next game in the present game what to do how to do how to win you you tackle it uh, in that sense you focus on uh, techniques what to do at a particular time so that like thinking there will be benefit to the uh, benefit to the player but by thinking about the failures of the past they, it is not a useful so focus on the present game is also very important dear uh, children never afraid of anything a true player definitely uh, should not uh, afraid of anything so always be courageous don't fear about anything and also don't get disturbed dear children commonly we see that if we comment uh, if somebody comments definitely a player disturbs so this should be uh, this should be avoided so don't get disturbed don't lose confidence be always be confident so that these are the some of the qualities of the true player so dear children i think you understood whatever what are the difference between the player and the, a true player so there are certainly there are clearly there are some differences between the a simple player and a true player dear children you know this one you know uh, you know the qualities of the true player and uh, the apart from this a player uh, a poet suggests us to some do's and don'ts about a, a true player what to do a true player what should what to do the true player a true player so true player should practice regularly so this is a, a one of the uh, best suggestion suggested by the poetess practice regularly a true player must practice regularly what happens if you do not practice regularly what what be, what happens there will not be we will not be a player will not be master about that he may not play good she may not be uh, good so that practice is a uh, very important regular practice regular practice uh, suppose today is a sunday tomorrow is a festival today is my birthday if we go, go on uh, telling all these uh, lame excuses so this is not a proper reason for the player a true player must practice regular whatever the situation what uh, however the circumstances but practicing regularly is a uh, very important that should be done by the true player and also uh, practice according to the game speed this is also game speed game speed also suppose if you take a running in the running the, there is a, part, a certain uh, game speed is there according to the game speed we should practice suppose if we uh, if we do not think about the how much time we should reach uh, in uh, uh, what is the speed of the game if we do not know this if we do not practice according to the game speed that definitely will fail you in the game so that sports so that practice according to the game speed is also important thing and uh, dear children a true player also should be strong and uh, sensible so strong and uh, sensible earlier we discussed very strong be energetic eat good food and take uh, uh, protein food and and uh, apart from that be also sensible sensible also important and also a true player also must fight for the best fight for the best whatever your ability is whatever the player's ability is but always at any time in the game time during the play time fight for the best that attitude must be the fighting for the best only so th this is the thing uh, uh, 
these are the things uh, uh, which poet has suggests us to be there are dear children there are also some don'ts very important thing some don'ts are very uh, important some don'ts don't complain dear children you also that uh, complain some some people some children also complain but during the play time we should not complain don't complain if you are a real player if you are a good player don't complain anything during the time this is this should not be done never never done so that this is the one thing the other is uh, don't violate the rules dear children while we are playing there are we should also know that game rules sport ru uh, rules suppose unknowingly play the game will not be will not get success so that every game has rules and regulations dear children you can you you know you discuss with your friends whatever the rules of the particular game whatever the rules of the cricket whatever the rules of the chess what what are the rules of the kabaddi what are the rules of the running so that all these things there are every game has a rules and regulations so a true player should not violate the rules this is a very important thing and uh, the other one is the other one is don't afraid of injuries injuries are common so dear children don't afraid of uh, injuries the injuries definitely we will recover when we get uh, injuries definitely we will recover easily uh, very soon we also recover maybe take uh, some time but don't worry don't bother about the injuries don't afraid of uh, injuries this is the one thing and dear children the final is don't fear about anything anything whatever the situation whatever the condition however the team how strong may be the team but don't worry about uh, don't fear about uh, anything these are the some don'ts of uh, which uh, the poet is suggest dear children so these are the uh, true players qualities of the true player what is a player so you you came to know that dear children after uh, going through that again go through the poem and uh, later after completing the going through this uh, poem there is a uh, there are some comprehension questions some comprehension for these questions that i would like to give you the five questions comprehension questions these questions are the what are the number one question what are the qualities of the true player dear children now which we have discussed you recall it you recall it once or go through the poem once again just just simply you think you think what are the qualities of the true player it is not not just uh, uh, qualities of the player qualities of the true player just write down point wise 1 2 3 4 like you write down this one comprehension question the second question is what is an acceptable crime in the play so in this poem the poet has suggested us to be an acceptable crime reminded us an acceptable crime what is an acceptable crime there are many crimes but in the game what is what is treated as an acceptable crime dear children you write the uh, answer for the second question uh, dear children th third one suppose your friend is playing cricket the umpire signals as out your friend starts argument with umpire do you support your friend why or why not this is i think you understood this question you write uh, you think about the question and uh, write uh, your answer in your notebook and the fourth one is if you know any true player in your school list out the qualities of him or her so this is a very simple for you uh, in your question there may be there are players but whom do you think of a true player do you find a true player suppose if you don't find uh, in your school just you can take it in your village all uh, knowing for the true player so that what are the qualities of the true player so write down uh, in especially that my question is in our list out uh, you, know, you identify the true player in your school and uh, list out the qualities of him or her in your uh, notebook the uh, last question is your friend is kabaddi player she or he plays well if he wanted him or her to promote as true player what would you suggest him or to follow to do this is the uh, uh, your suggestions wow. what would you suggest to your friend to be a player i think i think you hope to your your friends to be good player suppose you have uh, player friends so that you wanted to see your friends as a good player what would you suggest if your friend wanted to be a uh, good uh, true player what would you promote what do you say that if you wanted to become a good, uh, good true player what would you suggest how would you advise you list out the points in your notebook dear children 
So this is the these are the some comprehensive questions, dear children. Uh, and now let us come to the uh, about the poetess. So this is a uh, uh, written by Jessica Taylor. Uh, Jessica Taylor, she's a an poetess, and uh, she wrote about uh, uh, she wrote the what is a player poem. She was uh, she born in uh, Louisiana. She's a young poetess, and uh, she started writing poetry at uh, any an early age, and uh, focuses on emotional issues. Her poem or uh, her writings, all her writings are always focused on uh, focused on uh, only. Uh, emotional issues, emotional touch that we see that, and uh, our popular poems are loneliness, I miss you, I hate, I am worried. These are uh, some of our famous writings, dear children. Now you can uh, collect uh, much information about uh, the poetess Jessica Taylor, and uh, you collect the information regarding this one. You know about her. So these are the. This is the about uh, what is player, dear children. Could you understand what is a player and a true player? Hope, hope so. You understood uh, well. And what is the difference between the player and true player? A uh, true player qualities: what to do in the during the play time, what not to do in the uh, during the play time. So hope uh, you got uh, you understood this one. You uh, surely you write down uh, comprehension questions in your notebook and uh, show to your teacher, your concern teacher, your English teacher. So uh, th this is the thing. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can. Uh, uh you can uh, call your teacher or you call us and uh, we are ready to clarify your doubts dear children you try to be good player try to suggest to be your players to be good so this is the what is a player by jessica taylor thank you